What's up, marker heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and today I'm going to show you the sketchbook I filled from January 2009 to December 2009. This sketchbook is probably my favorite one that I have done from that long ago, and I really like this sketchbook. I'm going to try my hardest to keep this under 15 minutes because <laughs> I I do. I really, really like this sketchbook. It's very near and dear to me. It was one that I was filling out when I was in Oklahoma, so it was basically where I spent most of my time. So I just kind of just filled it chock full of stuff. And so there is a lot of content. It's also really worn out and not attached to its cover anymore. So let's just show you the cover. Here's the back side and here's... Uh, da -da -da -da. Turn the page stuck together. Here's this part. And yeah, and this says to Alfred and it has a whole spiel from a teacher. And the thing is, I got this book from a used bookstore. It was completely empty and so whoever Alfred was clearly did not care much about the sketchbook that he got from his teacher. So <laughs> it's mine now and it's completely full. So. On top here are some loose pages that I did from around the same time, and a lot of them have the same characters. So here we go. Uh, this is one of the ones that was in this sketchbook, and it was the first page. This is a character that I made up with my friend Erin, who also has a YouTube channel. Also, I will be uploading sketchbook videos from my past sketchbooks every Wednesday until I run out of them, so tune in next week to see the next one, and you can also find the whole playlist in the link below if you are interested. Um, and here is another picture of this character and my fantasy world persona that I made for myself. <laughs> um, I was 19 at the time that I did most of these illustrations, by the way. This is um, a Copic drawing on watercolor and so is this one here. And this is kind of a pair of characters that I made up while I was in Oklahoma. I haven't really touched them since, but I do really like them. And they don't have names, so if you want to give them names, go right ahead. <laughs> and this is one of the full illustrations, if not the first full illustration that I ever did. Um, I finished this in July 2009, and I'm really happy with it. I put a lot of work into coloring everything, and I think that it turned out pretty good. Um, I do have to say that yes, I know there's some an anatomy issues, but I did that when I was 19. I am now 26, so it's been a while. Um, here's another picture of this character, and her name's Dakina, and I really like her. She's probably one of my favorite characters to draw because she has a big long black beard, uh, braid. I almost said beard. <laughs> she does not have a big long black beard. Some dragons some practicing with line art and castles and stuff like that. There's a little Link con uh, comic here, him um, pulling the, the sword out and then him shrinking back to child size but his head's still adult size so yeah. There's another Dakina down there, look how cute and tiny she is, oh she's so small. Let's see there's a lot of stuff in here. Some more con concepts of castles. Um, I'm actually really happy with this dragon even now. I look at like the neck and I'm really happy with the way that looks. So I would really like to flesh that out and make an actual illustration out of it. So this is the first attempt that I ever did at a full illustration with a fully colored background. It is a hodgepodge. The first thing I drew on this page was the girl. Then I drew these characters behind her and then later on I drew this house. But I didn't, like, at the time, have this plan to put them together. And then I just wound up putting them together, so... <laughs> I inked the whole thing, and then I started coloring it with, like, every marker that I had. And none of the colors really sit together very nicely, so... It doesn't have a lot of harmony. I really like this character. He's a dog. He's like a mount, a fantasy mount type of character, and I really like him. He's cool. <laughs> I'd like to draw him some more. There's some me and Joe. Joe is my husband, but at the time we were just dating. Um, this is Dakina's sister, Joe. A 
Aquila and Dakina. And then I like this character. Really trying not to take a long time, but <laughs> it's inevitable that I'm going to spend a long time in this book. There's some more of me and Joe. Um, I don't know what was here. I think a phone number or something. Yeah. Here's some centaurs, but instead of horse bodies, they have canine bodies. And I have little... These are a little um, blurbs about them. Let's see. So here's a drawing of me. I was probably reading some Chris Hart books at the time. If you don't know who Chris Hart is, he's a how to draw author. So this really resembles some of his work. Um, not very well, because <laughs> I wasn't a very skilled artist at the time. But yeah, anyway. So I only had three markers and I did this as like my first three marker challenge. <laughs> marker lists. Marker lists. I wanted all these markers so I wrote like lists and which sets I would get at which time and all this stuff. And I was just, I was so obsessed with Copics. It was kind of funny. <laughs> um, this character, he's like a little, he's a lion but kind of more based off of a fox. and. There's a bit of My Little Pony maybe in there? I don't know. I don't know. He's kind of cute. Uh, cat spaceship. It's my friend's mom. Let's see. There's this boy who I drew with this knife. And then I drew this cow. And then I was like, wait, is he going to kill the cow? <laughs> so I drew this bale of hay. But yeah, he has a knife. And I mostly just drew the boy in the knife because he has this, had this pocket and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if he had a knife that fit in the pocket? Anyway, here's a really cute drawing of me. I like that picture. Um, and then I drew a coffee cup and then I tried to turn it into a castle. There's a lot of castle stuff in here. And then there's like a good witch, evil witch type of idea here. Some Lion King study. I got some new markers at, th at the time that I drew this, so that's what this is. It's a bunch of really light markers or what I got for Christmas, so that's why I drew that. And my parents sent it to me from Oregon, and so it got to me after Christmas. It got to me actually probably around February, but yeah. More marker lists! Oh, there's so many of those. I like this drawing. It's kind of like a bird-like dog, maybe. He's got feathers on his cheeks. Another bird dog. Okay. Coming up is a little comic that I wrote. I hope you enjoy it. It's about Copics and the obsession of Copics. So here I am. I'm sick in bed. Here's the doctor. Joe says, Do you know what she has, doctor? The doctor says, Sigh. What she has is quite serious. It is called the Copic Artist. Dun dun dun! Like, from her markers? Should I get rid of these things? No, that would only make her even worse. Here, this is what I recommend. And then on the next page, it was going to go on to tell him to buy more markers and stuff. It was at a time when I was like, Joe, I need more markers! And I even wrote him a comic to tell him the sad, sad tale. So, yeah. Um, here is... a... shrimp mermaid. <laughs> I like this idea. Let's see what else is in here. Um... These are Copic Mon. At the time, I was trying to come up with like little characters that would represent my markers. So these are like little creatures and stuff. Some dress ideas. Let's skip ahead here. Let's see what else. Just kind of skip. I'll just kind of flip through. Water balloon picture. I drew this with ballpoint pen. I actually really like the way that turned out. Let's, let's put this so it's in frame, right? Okay. Um, this character. I like this little dragon. I did him with uh, kind of semi transparent wings. I like the way that that turned out. Here were concepts for like my dream art studio. I was going to get myself a little like mini trailer or manufactured cabin or something like that and like deck it out to just be for art. Um,. This was like a story idea. I was gonna have um, a character who who was excavating down in the in the Olmec's territory, 
down in Central and South America. <laughs> um, these were like was quickly drawn at the library. I was like, don't anyone look at me, I'm just drawing. So I drew it really fast and it didn't turn out very nicely. Um, this picture I actually used for inspiration for a video that I did last year. Um, I did this actual picture a long time, long time ago, but I used the concept as inspiration for a video that I uploaded back in March of last year. I had to go turn off the heater. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it or not, but I don't want to have any heater noise in my videos. Here's a page of ear studies. Anything from human ears to different kinds of fantasy creature ears. Here's um, animal stuff. Yeah. I like to do three pages like that. I was gonna do one of body types and then I never got around to finishing it. Um, there's a feathered serpent, which is kind of based on Central South American uh, myth stuff. Mythology. I like that character. This is based on some story concepts that I had. These are some of my original characters that I actually still um, write about sometimes, but I don't really spend a whole lot of time, especially since I became a mom. Writing about my characters has kind of just not been as, I guess, I haven't had as much time to just sit down for a long time and think about them, so it's been less, less on my list of priorities to do, and I really need to start doing that again. I made a whole map of this, like, uh, fantasy world and all of the different things that are all the different places. I should revamp this because it's so so stereotypically <laughs> fantasy but you know it was my main interest when I was young was fantasy stuff so here's some more sketches and, and uh, little creature Profiles. This is a character that I really liked, but I did not draw him very well in this shot. Let's see, there's Link. He was- oh yeah, I was gonna draw him in a Hogwarts outfit. <laughs> um, you'll see a more revamped version of this later on. She's got that million mile stare going on there. She's just like, ah. <laughs> Oh, she's got some long ears. Let's see. Ah, so my sister and I used to talk on the phone and challenge each other to draw something, and so this is what she challenged me to draw, was ladybugs kidnapping a spotted water buffalo. And so that's what I drew, and I gave the baby face on the moon, I mean I gave the moon a baby face, and I don't know why I did that, but um, I did. And this is kind of like my first foray, foray into night scenes, and I like it, it's alright. The next one she gave me was Magical Frog, so here I am. He's freezing a fly. And then down here, this fish licked the ice and got stuck to it, so <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Let's see what else is in here. So I think that this is where I need to flip the book over and then I'm gonna get confused. Okay, so this book, I mean this page, is from when my sister and my cousin and my friend and I were a little bit younger and we were making a puppet show and there are some handmade puppets in here and some store-bought puppets and so we we used to have a lot of fun making puppet shows and uh, we would record them <laughs> and we would sit behind my parents couch this is my parents living room and yeah it was a lot of fun and I would like to make this picture something that's actually coherent but I I just I could not figure out how to color this at the time I was not good at figuring out scenes and coloring things so yeah so we're gonna keep going here and I believe this is the way we were going when I had to turn everything around so um, I believe that's pretty much everything here's the floor plans to a house it's like a weird dream that I had <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to explain what that was here's a little iguana and I think that's besides the little horses yep here we go these little horses are just about the only thing that's worth looking at in here at, down at the end of this book 
So I hope you really enjoyed this. I know I enjoyed flipping through this. It's one of my favorite sketchbooks and I really hope you guys enjoy this type of video. It's not exactly my current style. I know that I, um, I am definitely further along on my art journey than I was at the moment that I drew these, but um, I still feel like it's important to be able to go back and look through your sketchbooks because sometimes you find something that you might want to draw. Certainly not this scary chicken monster, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I might take a few of these illustrations and flesh them back out, and it's kind of given me inspiration to work on these characters again, so I had a lot of fun flipping through this sketchbook. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, stay tuned for next week when I flip through my next sketchbook, because you'll see my progress steadily come improving and coming forward as a more fleshed out artist. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video.